it was an unlosable bet. We're, yeah, yeah. So Tommy lost a bet with uh, Lewis, Lewis Lee, the owner of this club, and about the Vikings. It didn't. I don't understand what happened. The bet was that the Minnesota Vikings, very phenomenal football team, were gonna win the Super Bowl. Thousand, you're gonna win a thousand dollars if they if they won, but now you have to give a humiliating speech that we're gonna write here. I, I already wrote down it was a sure thing because he said that about 4,500 <laughs> times. <laughs> Have there been any other sure things in your life that you've uh, gambled on? <laughs> got some individual lines I'm going to make sure that we well, get yeah, in here, I and mean, you can gonna, make it your own. We're going to have to still write the like actual script yeah. that I assume you will be rehearsing. This is brutal. <laughs> Did anyone in your life uh, tell you not to take this bet? Tell you not to take this bet. Everyone. Recently, comedian and a uh, dry bar comedian, specifically Tommy Ryman, <laughs> he made a bet with um, the owner of this comedy club, the great and powerful Lewis Lee. And the bet was that the Minnesota Vikings would win the Super Bowl this year. And obviously, yeah, that's a shitty bet to make. You know what I mean? That's a fucking dumb bet to make. We all knew that wasn't going to happen. But Tommy would have won $1,000 if he would have won the bet. And Lewis, I mean, bless his heart, he's notorious for, um, you know, making the most out of his wins. You know, Lewis doesn't need the money. Look at this place. You all bought drinks. Lewis is making 60 k tonight. <laughs> he's just pocketing that shit, too. He doesn't pay anyone. So anyways, Tom, <laughs> Tommy... <laughs> um... Before we bring up Tommy uh, to, uh, you know, pay his debt, uh, we have a couple videos of past uh, bet losers to Lewis. So please enjoy these videos, and then I will bring up Tommy. So please enjoy these videos. Yeah, clap for the videos, goddammit. Uh, he just wanted to say hi to you guys. Uh, he thinks you have treats. Um, hey, Tommy Ryman. Whoa, congrats on getting into the Don't Bet Against Lewis Lee Club. Come on, Tommy, what are you doing? We all know that you do not bet against Lewis Lee. He will always win. He will dominate you, all right? He's from the same country as COVID, okay? <laughs> and we will see how I love you. And I'm not just saying that because you look exactly like my French Bulldog Diesel. Let's look at you. Let me get you side by side right now. Are they the same person? Have you ever seen Diesel and Lewis Lee in the same place at the same time? Uh, right now I feel like I have Lewis sitting in my lap right now. Oh, Lewis, I love you. Oh. Alright, and speaking of lovable creatures that only weigh 29 pounds, Tommy Ryman, yeah, oh, so frail. 
Yeah, seriously, I hope you guys don't have the heat vents open and acne right now, because Tommy will just blow around the room like a leaf. Seriously, Tommy, how do you eat red meat, but you still have the body of a vegan? Yeah, look at me, I'm just roasting him, being, being a goose. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tommy, I, I shouldn't pick on you, I mean... I mean, it must be hard enough for you just to walk around the earth every single day looking like a substitute teacher. You know? <laughs> so I just want to say welcome to the Don't Bet Against Lewis Lee Club. I'm a member. I'm a loser too. Uh, all right. I love you guys. Have a good night. Bye. Hey, Tommy. It's me, your friend Cy Amundsen. And I've uh, heard that you have lost a bet to the Eastern Leprechaun, who lives in the back of the comedy company. And so, as a veteran of many lost, embarrassing lost bets to Lewis Lee, I thought I would just take a minute to send you a video and let you know that I know exactly what you're going through right now. I know exactly how you're feeling. And I, what? Soup, soup. Wait, hold on, hold on. This, your, bet, your bet was that the Vikings would win the Super Bowl? Win. This, that was your bet? Yikes, Tom, really? I mean, I guess maybe I don't know what you're going to. I, mean, I think the worst bet that I ever made with him was that they would make it to the Super Bowl. And that was the year that they had Brett Favre and Adrian Peterson. You know, it's, it's a pretty rough where are they now for those two guys. <laughs> And all they have to do is make it to the Super Bowl. But you, you looked at this year's team and you thought, champion, real, yikes. You might as well just bet on the why is that a high school team to win the, the Super Bowl? Who gives a shit? Right? It's, like, no, okay, okay. That's not, that's not the point. That's not, that's not the point. The, the point is, um, if you're going to continue to bet with the dragon, I think I can give you a few pieces of advice few pieces of advice that would serve you well in the future. One, I heard you got money if you won. I mean, he doesn't care about money, Tommy. This was probably the best bet of his entire life. This is a man that deals in power. He wants to humiliate you. Money means nothing. I can't imagine. He probably, right after he shook hands on that bet, probably went back in the office with that shitty little grin on his face, so proud of himself. Like, this was an all-timer for him. Not to mention the fucking Super Bowl thing. That if it, don't bet money. You gotta make him do something that he wouldn't want to do. That's how you. That's how you really put him in a tough situation with a bet. Uh, number two, he's always a bunch of steps ahead of you. So like, if it's May, you know, and he's talking to you about your family, and you're like, oh, this is nice. He's he's, he's way in the future. This is all part of a plan to make a bet with you during football season. He's five steps ahead. You know, like Hulk leader. Uh, and finally, I would say try to minimize what you lose. Like, obviously, you're about to have a pretty rough night, and he's going to have video of that forever. And uh, he's got some horrible videos of me. Uh, there's one of me in a child's Aaron Rodgers jersey, slowly eating bananas. I still don't understand what he, why that was the thing. Uh, it, he, I, he does have that, which is a bummer. My point is, he likes trinkets. You know, he's got all the trinkets on his wall from all the lost bets in the videos. You know when people have their wakes and uh, at the table, there's like all the pictures from their lives. I don't think Lewis is going to have that. I think he's just going to have a table full of his bet trinkets, you know? So he's like a serial killer that way. So, uh, you know, I think if you could just follow those three steps, no, I'm sorry, I can't do this. I can't stop thinking about the Super Bowl thing. Tommy, he probably would have taken an NFC Championship game. I mean, I know they didn't get there, but he would have accepted that bet. He probably would have at least accepted this. It does, I, I don't want to do it. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna turn the video on. I don't want to do it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, with a set written by Brian Miller and Nate Abshire, please welcome to the stage Tommy the Minneapolis Miracle Ryman! We did it, right? Damn. Uh, I, 
I thought it was a sure thing. I thought, I, I made this bet early. That's how confident I was. We had just lost to Philly, and I was like, nah, we got it. It's, right? We got, I don't know. I, if, I blame us. I blame Minnesota. I don't know if you're a Vikings fan, but have you ever seen the movie uh, Santa Claus? It's classic with Timmy Allen. Uh, and Santa... But the, you gotta believe in Santa for him to be real, and I feel like the Vikings fans just don't believe. So I'm begging you to believe, because I'm gonna keep betting. I can't stop. I gotta win. Uh, I'll eat a banana. And now I gotta do this. So buckle up. Thank uh, you're lucky if you left. That was smart. Okay, I'm Tommy Ryman, and with full possession of my mental facilities and without coercion or duress, I bet $1,000 the Vikings would win the Super Bowl. <laughs> not the Super Bowl this year, or yeah, the Super Bowl this year, not at a, some other point in the distant future with an entirely new team. It was going to be this one. They were going to win by three accidentally. It was going to be amazing. <laughs> I lost the bet. That has nothing to do with why I'm wearing this. I just, it's just how I dress. <laughs> this is Tommy Ryman casual. <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> Some people asked if I looked up the Vegas odds of the Vikings winning uh, the Super Bowl. I did not. <laughs> I looked into my heart, <laughs> and my heart said it was a sure thing. <laughs> And there was no way they could lose, but they did. So it's crazy, because I did everything right. And I, I bet out on white quarterback. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I'm confused. I don't understand. I've been a Vikings fan since I was a kid. The first football game I ever saw live was the uh, 1998 NFC Championship game with Gary Anderson. I don't know if you remember that. It was a really good one until the end. Uh, and then, and then I just assumed that that uh, that that the bad luck was gone, and we were ready to win the Super Bowl by three points by accident. Uh, okay. Anyway, initially the bet was for a hundred dollars, right? That's just a smart bet. Uh, but then they kept winning. I don't know if you remember when we had the greatest comeback in NFL history, and I was like, well, now we're going to go to the Super Bowl for sure. So I would like to up that to a thousand dollars. Because I'm good at betting. I've won pull tabs. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> the only bet I remember losing was the Superman versus Batman in DC. Because they didn't cover the spread. So this is a good movie. I don't know if you, we'll watch it after. I'm so sweaty. It's hot in here. You can leave. No one has to watch this. <laughs> Why are you still here? They're filming it. It's going to be... I'm dead. All right, so instead of paying $1,000, I was assigned to do an open mic set of the jokes that my friends, friends, Brian and Nate, wrote. And I'm almost as nervous as the time I got to open for Louis C.K. He's, he's good. They told me when I do this set, like, I'll probably be doing Madison Square Garden, so... This is basically like free money for me. You guys ready for this beautiful set? All right, here we go, first stroke. How many women does it take to screw in a light bulb? Who cares? Let them cook in the dark. Yeah. Right? Or they touch some light bulbs. What is a mile long and has an IQ of 40? The St. Patrick's Day Parade. Boom, take it, Irish. Take it. Ooh, this one's scary. Okay. Ah, what do a black guy and a Mexican have in common? They both really are mad about the setup of this joke. Okay. Woo! We're done. I don't like that. I don't like that. You guys ever answer the door and the person is just standing there and staring at you and you're like, excuse me, I live here, what do you want? And then they yell, put some pants on! And then it just says me to take out my penis. <laughs> Not gonna do that. 
I don't think the moon landings were fake, but I don't think Buzz Aldrin ever went there, and I'd say, I'd say that to his face. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> this is easy. Uh, this is really good. These are really good jokes. Right. What, do you, what do you call two vaccinated Democrats? You can't, they're dead from the vaccine. <laughs> oh, I'm edgy. Cancel me. Really, I've said this, this controversy is great for me because I just want to have a career as celebrated as Roman Polanski. <laughs> I don't know who that is. He lives in Europe. That sounds nice. <laughs> I don't think he gets to come back. Uh, I should Google him. Okay. I will pay Nate Abshire $25 to not tell this joke ever. You can call Nate Abshire if you would like to hear that. Oh my god. Okay. Now. Nate just got another $25. <laughs> that one just said the word Memphis, so bye. All right. Now it says, hump the stool. Okay. Let's do some act outs. A lot of comedy legends have humped the stool, so I'm not afraid of this. Ended my career forever. My successful dry bar comedy career. I don't know if you've watched Dry Bar, but it is family friendly. You're not allowed to hump stuff on their stage, because people in Utah would die. Okay, hump in the stool. Put your cameras down. What are you doing? This is for us. Sometimes when you are doing sex, a girl is like, make sex harder. And I'm always like, look at me. I think we are both happy with what's already happening. <laughs> okay, I'm done. That was the set. There's more. God, God damn it. In conclusion, I would just like to officially say that I'm sorry. I keep insisting women should make less money than straight men. Wait, that apologies for a different thing. That was not related to the bet. That was... Okay, I was wrong, and Lewis Lee was right. The Vikings, even though they are a really good team and were a total sure thing, somehow did not even make it to the Super Bowl or the let alone win the Super Bowl. But they were so close. They just He just threw it three yards, and he needed to throw it eight. <laughs> and the, and the, the whole thing screwed up because they were up in the first quarter, and the Vikings needed to be down by 50 to win the Super Bowl. So it's all stats. I had it. I, okay, I'm going to call my mom. <laughs> Louis Lee was right. Okay, I, uh, good. It was the trolls that somehow think they didn't win the Super Bowl. I still don't believe it. I actually stopped watching the Giants game, so I feel like they might be in it. All right, you guys want to go to bed. I don't care. I'm doing 20 minutes. But, all right. It has, though it's been nice to be bullied by someone that is shorter than me. Bam. That's a little joke. He's a short guy. And I'm very tall and strong. Looking back, I haven't been this wrong since I gave my dog a chocolate bar to cheer him up. <laughs> Look at my dry bar, I have a lot of real positive dog material. I've never done that. It was one time thing. All right, I am gonna announce my second bet because I can't stop betting. Uh, so you guys wanna know? I think it's gonna be a good one. It's a sure thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start low. I went too big. Thousand dollars was uh, insane, and the Super Bowl might have been a mistake. So I would like to bet twenty-five dollars that the Vikings will win two games in a row, <laughs> and they will miss every extra point <laughs> next year. Yeah, it's gonna be for next year. It's not because this season is over. Don't heckle me in this time of my life. <laughs> And then it just says to sad, gritty, off the stage. <laughs> oh, 
love you, Louis. I really do, yeah. I hope you're happy, and it's way past his bedtime, and he had to be here. 